Spirit Boosters, welcome back to the channel. It's Miss Janita with another video to share with you guys. You amazing, awesome people of mine. <laughs> Great supportive, supporters, supporters. And um, I want to welcome any and all new subscribers. And welcome back to my returning supportive subscribers. Content creators, hello. Love your content. Miss Janita loves it. And I haven't been, if I haven't been to your channel yet, give me a minute. Um, like I'm still am considering, it's not even that I'm considering. I have to get my days where I'm going to be on this channel, my gardening channel, and my uh, crafting channel. Now, gardening, I think I'm going to do on Saturday, you know, go and, uh, support my garden channel on saturday meaning you know if i have a video or i'm just gonna go around supporting content creators and thanking supporting visitors and supportive subscribers that aren't content creators i'll be thanking you and i'll be thanking content creators going to their channels gardening channel same thing with the crafting channel i'll be going around uh to content creator crafting channels to support them on i don't know what's a good day wednesday maybe wednesdays and then for this channel maybe i don't know i don't want it to be monday okay maybe monday maybe but wait a minute i do i don't know i'll figure it out but i know garden might be on saturday and i'll figure things out but hey y'all welcome welcome back you see this stuff miss janita got up here sharing but first let's get the news out the way i hear i hear tell they saying that folks might not be getting their social security checks due to the debt ceiling not being having an agreement yet and yelling the lady that's in charge of her name be on the little checks and everything <laughs> She said by the fifth or whatever, or the first, it might go into default, whatever. Y'all, don't worry about Miss Janita's background. I just realized I don't even care no more. I'm here. I'm enjoying whatever I'm sharing with my people. No, I'm not uh, uh, this or that. I'm just enjoying being on here, sharing my interests with folks that have the same interests as me. And if I can, if I'm attracting people that agree with what I'm doing and I agree with what they're doing, so be it. Thank God. But anyway, y'all, yeah, the Social Security checks might not be uh, getting out. And then they say bills might not get paid. Things probably will get shut down. Lots of stuff can happen. Recession, all kind of stuff. But uh, hopefully that won't happen and the Republicans and the Democrats, whatever, they come to some kind of agreement. And I heard, did y'all hear, they say that during the 2024 election year, they saying that um, there might be some chaos and confusion and probably some assaults. They saying that minority people and government buildings are going to be under attack during the 2024 election year. Now, this is not my idea of what I'm saying, making up. This is something I read in the news. And, oh, you know what? It came from the, the Homeland Security. So if they saying it, then, hey, you got to take heat and prepare yourself for whatever. If they saying that this is kind of activity that's going to go on in the future coming up shortly because folks is pissed off about this that and the other and also that guy with the one eye he was sentenced to 18 years allegedly whatever for uh that uh riot in uh january yeah that and people supposed to be so angry about this stuff but i just pray that everything work out all right or people just gotta use their sense 
and take care of themselves and their loved ones if stuff do happen like that. Get prepped like if this is the Homeland Security. If allegedly the Homeland Security has put this information out there, there's going to be some mess. Uh, white supremacists is what they're saying. They're saying it's the number one thing. The FBI is saying that uh, this is not me. I'm reporting what I've read, y'all. Is the number one thing that is a cause of a lot of problems. But um, I just pray everything work out. Cause hey, we we got to live in the world together, and as long as folks don't get along, it's always gonna be some heartache and pain. But hmm. folks, if you pray, pray harder. So we'll be all right, cause everything already going crazy. You know they about to outlaw gas and they just want everything electric because in new york any new buildings do not get any gas appliances just all electric now if you didn't know look this stuff up for yourself don't rely on me do your own research but moving right along look at what i'm sharing y'all you see my khalifa bottle i got this little net on it that's this right here i got soup socks for making clear, flavorful broth, chicken soup, and more. I got it for my beans. Because I was telling my son, I said, I'm going to make some more pinto beans later on next week. And I told him, I said, to prevent any kind of bone or whatever getting in the beans, I just want beans. So I, I bought this product right here. Have any of you guys heard of this product? Because they got different kinds. So I'm going to be putting my smoked meats in that bag. It's on top of here. And I'm just giving y'all an idea what it look like. So I bought me a bunch of those. And uh, so now I get to put all kind of vegetables and meats. You can put whole chicken in there and, you know, put all kind of stuff on it and put it in a pot of water make you some broth. I love it. I don't know why I didn't know about this sooner. It just came ahead. I told my husband, I said... I don't like all these little bones being my beans. So I wonder if they got something to put the meat in so it won't get all over the pot. And so I'm thinking, hey, I go online, I look and I say, hey, somebody had already thought about the same thing. So here it is, soup socks. <laughs> I got the 100% cotton. And uh, yeah, I just want to share that with y'all. Also, y'all, look, I got me a harvest out there on my balcony garden. I got to put this in my garden video. But see that i don't know if these is my daughter says snow pea but see that bean right there one of them just broke let me see if i can get it look this one i broke and i thought it was string beans I, one person on my garden was channel was saying green peas but look that ain't no green pea what kind of bean is that are these string beans or some kind of beans? Whatever, it's gonna be good. I love beans. Put some, put my meat in one of these socks <laughs> and put it on my string beans. I like string beans and potatoes. Y'all like that? But anyway, y'all want to hear any more about this and find out what uh happening with this? Go to the gardening channel whenever I put the video up, so the gardening people can answer some of my questions on what the heck is this. Also, some yams in the back because I want me a pie maybe for Memorial Day. Sweet potato pie. I got the potatoes for the potato salad. My husband said he's going to barbecue tomorrow on Sunday. So we're having burgers, hot links, hot dogs, ribs, chicken, potato salad, and some of those uh, poking beans. Yes, we are. And that's dinner for Memorial Day. And I'm going to be watching Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Y'all, I've been watching Little House on the Prairie, and that Laura Ingalls is, uh, I don't know, she's a firecracker. I ain't never know it. It was so violent on that show, because, listen, <laughs> if y'all really, really watched Little House on the Prairie, Laura Ingalls, one episode I watched, it was called For My Lady, and Charles, he wanted to get his wife, uh, Mary made just a big deal out of these, uh, uh china that her father was doing the job for this lady which was a widow pretty widow like that so uh mary was over there with her daddy they was doing this and that whatever with the lady you know fixing her stuff up 
and the lady was saying that she was getting some charles was bringing her brand new china so she didn't need the old china right so uh mary was like dad mom would love this and and uh and the lady was like, sure, Charles, why don't you trade the work for the China? And Charles was like, no, we need the money, ma'am. And so his daughters kept my daughter. He told her, Mary, shut, shut the hell up, Mary. I ain't got no, I told her we need the money. So later on in the episode, Charles got the feeling a little, little funny about it. So he told the, the widow, hey, I'm going to come over here and fix your doors or whatever. For exchange, I'm going to do some work, some different work for you for the China for my wife. So he was uh trying to keep his family from knowing about you know he wants to surprise his wife with china so all in all in the episode they kept thinking that he was having an affair with the widow lady and the lady in the you know the gross in the uh store what her name uh dang i can't think of her name you know the busybody lady with the with the with the bad kids the little girl and the little boy that laura always beating them up that work in the store. I can't think of their name right now. But anyway, she going to tell Carolyn, ooh, your husband over there at the widow house. And Carolyn told her to shut up. <laughs> but that ain't the part I'm going to tell you. What I'm talking about, Laura Ingalls is, 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 a uh, is, uh, um, she just, uh, wanna told, she told uh, her sister Mary, I'm going to tell mama to go over there and beat her ass. <laughs> I was like, what? And she was telling Mary, yeah, I'm going to tell my mom to go over there and sock her in her stomach. I was like, dang, Lord be talking like that. She be beating up Willie and, and the little boy named Willie, I think, that the kids that belong to the storekeeper and his wife that start all the trouble. I can't think of their name right I don't know why I can't think of their name right now. But anyway, Lord be having a lot of fights, but I don't know why she was thinking like that to tell her mom go beat that woman but because she thought she was taking her husband her daddy away from them and i was thinking i said dang laura was doing all this back in the day <laughs> i don't remember this <laughs> but laura she wasn't no joke she was gonna say i'm gonna tell mama to beat her ass mama's like what hey, do y'all remember that episode if not it's called for my lady little house on the prairie little house on the prairie season two that's where it's, that episode is at and like that just that just that just made me think. I said, "Dang, Laura was violent back then in the in the little house on Prairie. Pope be a family show, and Laura, all she did, <laughs> Laura wasn't no joke, and she didn't take no mess. Now Mary on the other hand didn't do that, all that, but Laura, she beat your Laura beat your ass. Don't be messing with her and her family. <laughs> oh, her daddy get mad and upset. He'll just, you know, tell you for words. But I ain't seen no episode yet where Charles is fighting. But Carolyn, she was about to tell Charles. Charles, in the end of the episode, I'm about to leave you. But Charles said, come on outside. Let me tell you something. And she didn't get us a chance to talk her mess because Charles told her, look, I did this for you. I got you some china. And that ended that because they all thought that he was crazy and leaving them for that woman. But that episode, it just made me just think, Laura was violent. And Little House on the Prairie was not, you know, I don't think that was a family show because Laura was always fighting. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, now back to the hall. Okay, this right here. See this cutter? It's a, a Bisty cutter. Let me see what we got a name on it. It's that. That's the name. I didn't get the uh, curly one. I got the regular one. But anyway, that's the reading on the box. And that's this right here. Oh, I got some silverware from Macy's because... Do y'all have that problem? What the heck be going on with the silverware? Where the forks and all everything be going? Do they actually get thrown away? I don't know, but we had to get some more silverware. So I took it out of the box. Sorry, I threw the box out. I didn't keep it. I'm trying to keep as less stuff in here as possible. Now, this is my new biscuit cutter. Five piece. They come in different sizes. The tiny one is one and a quarter. The one next to that tiny one is two inches. The next to the two inches is a uh, two and a quarter, and getting to the bigger one, two and a th three quarters, and the biggest one is three and a quarter. So I'm happy about my biscuit cutters. I got that from uh, Amazon. Oh, I also got this turkey stuffing bag, 100% natural cotton. Let's the flavor in makes removal of stuffing safe and easy great for turkey or chicken 
It's too heavy cotton mess back. Now I don't plan on rewashing these and using them. That's why if you interested in this kind of stuff, you better get as much as you need. Cause I ain't gonna clean out every pick of food out there. I don't think that's sanitary, but uh, it can be done, I guess. And this one is a pastry cloth and rolling pin cover. Right here. I see that little thing, that little tiny one. I guess that's the rolling pin cover. But this keep the flour, keep the flour from getting in your, uh, the flour from getting in your, uh, now y'all know I do biscuits and stuff. Ooh, it's a glare on it. Why? trying to show y'all without it being a glare on it. I don't know if y'all can read it all. Get off there, glare. Excuse my old jacked up nail. <laughs> but anyway, and there go the bowls I told you I got from Target, 50 cent each. It's two different sides. This is the biggest cereal bowl, and that's a flat, wide cereal bowl. Nice, nice, nice. You have that kind of stuff, but... Uh, I'm going to let y'all go because I got to upload this and some for my gardening channel. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Like I said, tomorrow we barbecue, celebrate Memorial Day, which is Monday, last Monday of the month. And what are you guys doing for Memorial Day? You want to share? Say so in the comments. Your going zones, what's happening, and more in your area, what are you doing? And if you watch a little house on the prayer, you know what I'm talking about. Say so in the comments. And if you ever heard of any of these products that I've shared with you up here today, let me know. Like I say, I'm going to enjoy using these socks, soup socks, to keep my meat from falling apart all in something I'm cooking and making soup stock, broth, all that stuff. I'm going to love it. If y'all heard about these kind of products, please share in the comments. I love to hear about it. Like I said, folks that in have same interest as my interest, please share your going zones and what's happening because your spirit boost is uplifting. Keeping joy in the community, even if it's sad news, bad news, informative news, something we need to hear about so we can, you know, stay prepared in aware and if it's a, a what is it called a, a take heed moment please please share because the way things are going if they don't pass the deficit or whatever a lot of things could happen and i told you about the department of homeland security sharing about the chaos in 2024 election if you don't if you don't uh want to take my word do your research and find out about these things for yourself but main thing is prep for it prepare for it so be in survival mode if that is the case get the foods and things you need so you don't have to be out in the street if such stuff happens stock up on water keg goods and uh bread and and stuff like that ingredients so you don't have to be talking about running out of bread you can make some bread Get what you need. Get the things you need for your garden, for your car, whatever. Stay in survival mode during 2024 if Homeland Security is warning us like that. All right, y'all, allegedly. Thanks for coming. And uh, as I did in the beginning, thank you. Welcome all. I appreciate your support. Bye. It's spirit boosting time. Spirit boosting time. Spirit boosting time. Spirit boosting time. Welcome, spirit.